Hi, we're here with Dr. Benoit Osef. He's Beacon Medical Group Gastroenterologist at Elkhart General Hospital. So whether or not you were familiar with Chadwick Boseman, you've probably heard reports about the actor's secret battle with colon cancer, and he was only 43 years old. His death has put a spotlight on colon cancer, and that's why we're here today. Dr. Osef, what are the early signs and symptoms of colon cancer? Well, the earliest sign would probably be uh, rectal bleeding, uh, abdominal pain, uh, bloating, uh, uh, any, any change in bowel habits. Sometimes you can have diarrhea or constipation, alternating constipation, diarrhea, anything that's different from your usual bowel habits uh, and the unexplained weight loss. Those will be the signs of uh, colon cancer. What is the survival rate and what difference does it make if it's detected early? Well, if it's detected early, uh, if it's a stage zero, which is a polyp uh, just involving the mucosa, uh, it's a, almost 100% uh, survival rate. Uh, stage one, 90% uh, survival rate. Uh, stage four really goes down to 11% 11, 11 uh, survival rate. So what this actor was faced with, I believe he, in 2016, he was diagnosed with stage three and then battled colon cancer through stage four. Um, so at stage three, a diagnosis, um, would it be a little bit different? And again, a uh, different survival rate at that point? Yes, definitely will be different. Uh, you know, that's when the lymph nodes are involved, but it also depends on uh, the type of uh, tumor it is, the grade, the, how aggressive the tumor is, the tumor is responsive to uh, newer therapies such as immunotherapy. Uh, uh, even stage four can be treated effectively if, if the tumor is responsive to the newer uh, therapies. So has there been an uptick in the number of new cases? What can you tell us? Well, the total number of cases, uh, colon cancer case, cases have actually gone down. Uh, from 2007 to 2016, there's been a 3.6% reduction in the, uh, per year of the number of cases. But that's in patients uh, over age 55. Uh, but in those patients over under age 55, there's been an increase in incidence of colon cancer, uh, up to 2%. Patients have uh, dietary risk factors, more processed foods. Uh, foods, the younger people might have uh, uh, intake of foods with uh, less fiber, uh, more uh, meat, uh, red meat, uh, fried foods, things like that. Uh, also, uh, younger people tend to uh, try, uh, you know, dis uh, discount the symptoms. Like if you have bleeding, they'll say that it might be due to hemorrhoids and ignore uh, those early symptoms. Whereas Older people, you know, when they see blood, they immediately go to the doctor. So they've uh, looked at studies uh, uh, where the time of, uh, from symptom to diagnosis in younger people, is usually 271 days, whereas in older people, it's like 30 days. So they're, the older people are more aware of their bodies and, you know, they don't, uh, you know, uh, discount the symptoms. What age really should adults start scheduling colonoscopies? And, and does it make a difference if you are average risk as opposed to, say, I have a family history of colon cancer and I'm more high risk? Well, uh, it used to be the American College of uh, Gastroenterology that recommended uh, everyone with average risk starting at age 50. But recently, we've changed the uh, recommendations to age 45. Uh, American Cancer Society also followed uh, with this uh, recommendation. People with uh, increased risk, high risk, which is defined as a, a first degree relative having had colon cancer uh, at age 60 or less, uh, they should start at age 40 or 10 years less than the index case. So if a, if a family member had a colon cancer at age 40, uh, then they should start at age uh, 30 in screening. Um, you know, and despite improved screening measures, as I'm sure, you know, we've seen over the years, colon cancer does not treat everybody equally. Um, what have studies shown about both age and racial disparities with colon cancer? Well, regarding racial disparities, I think uh, uh, there are uh, multiple hypotheses, you know, there might be genetic uh, factors, uh, uh, difficulty in accessing healthcare, uh, 
discrimination. Uh, physicians might uh, be working on the patient uh, who has multiple other uh, uh, more serious conditions, so they uh, keep the colon cancer at the bottom of the list of uh, you know importance. So there are multiple reasons. And final thoughts or guidance that you would give to the community, to the general public about colon cancer. It's a, it's a scary thing to think about. Um, and also again, testing and really what you should do if you have any concerns about what's going on with you. Well, colon cancer is one of the easiest cancers to prevent by screening. Um, we have multiple uh, avenues for screening. Uh, we have stool-based studies. Uh, such as the stool of cold blood uh, that takes a sample of stool and tests for just blood. Uh, there's also a test for stool DNA, for DNA of the polyps. Uh, then the gold standard is a colonoscopy. Uh, then there's also a CAT scan colonoscopy. So multiple screening tests are available. And uh, if, you find a, if you find a polyp during a colonoscopy, that can be removed at the same time. And actually, we're not really looking for colon cancer. We're looking for polyps, which are precursors for colon cancer. Is there anything that you as a patient, when you're talking to your doctor, I mean, do you have a choice as to what test you receive then? Or is that really up to the physician to guide you in that way? Well, physicians generally tend to guide the patients, of course. Uh, patients have a choice. Uh, some patients may not want to go through a colonoscopy. Uh, then they're given the option of doing a yearly stool test for blood or a stool DNA test. Uh, so they have choice, um, uh, but the gold standard is still the colonoscopy. The bottom line, what you want to do is right. to just make sure you're tested. Make sure you're tested and uh, you know, get tested early and, uh, and uh, don't uh, ignore any symptoms. Uh, of uh, downward change, change in bowel habits or abdominal pain. Don't think it's uh, hemorrhoids. If you see some blood in the stool, don't think it's just hemorrhoids because uh, two or three years down the road, you might have uh, something more serious. Dr. Osef, thanks so much for joining us today and for your perspective, important topic. Thank you so much. Thank you.